Right now at noon, a Sun Prairie School Board member is resigning. What led to the decision and the next steps for the board? Plus, a new method with MedFlight is greatly increasing the chances of those severely injured. What an expert has to say about this landmark change. This is News 3 Now at noon. Thanks for joining us. I'm Josh Spreider. A member of the Sun Prairie Area School District has resigned over the handling of a former principal's departure. In a Facebook post, Alwyn Foster says his decision to resign is based on, quote, issues related to black staff members historically, end quote. The community elected Foster to the Board of Education in 2021. Back on October 23rd, the district announced East High School principal Renee Coleman would no longer serve as principal. The district did not give a reason for her departure. Foster did not elaborate on the specific issues impacting black staff members that pushed him to step down. The district's website has details on how to run for the vacant seat that will be decided on in the spring election. Stay with News 3 Now and Channel3000.com for any new developments. Well, the rain showers are moving out this afternoon. First War Meteorologist Kelly Slifka has a look at your certified most accurate forecast. He's out on the weather patio. Hi, Kelly. Yeah, good afternoon, Josh. If I had a snapshot of what November typically looks like in, no, uh, what weather looks like in November in Madison, uh, this would be it because we've got the cloudy, gloomy skies. There might be some drizzle out there, but a radar 3000 not really indicating any rainfall falling. It should be dry generally this afternoon, and that'll continue right through Saturday and most of Sunday, maybe an isolated shower, but it is going to be warming up. We should get back into some sunshine tomorrow. That'll continue right into Saturday, so it should end up to uh, be a first uh, really nice start to our weekend. Next week is not going to be nice. It's going to be a sloppy week. We've got some rain. might be cool enough that we can't rule out some snow later next week, and it's going to be a prolonged system coming our way next week, and we'll talk more about that coming up. 47 right now with the uh, cloudy, gloomy skies here. You see that humidity up there at 90%, so there might be a little bit of drizzle across the area. Temperatures right now, 47 in Madison. 46 in Middleton, 47 in Cottage Grove, and 48 in Stoughton and Brooklyn. All right, we've got cloudy skies, 47 right now, maybe getting up into the lower 50s here. The winds are switching around the northwest. That should bring us some drier air, and eventually we'll see some sunshine that'll be returning tomorrow. We'll talk about the weekend forecast and that sloppy system headed our way next week, coming up in about 15 minutes. Kelly, thank you. Well, this afternoon, those killed in a fiery crash in Verona have been identified. However, the causes of the crash and deaths have not yet been released. Jeff and Michelle Bauer of Crandon, Josh and Tammy Stahl of Anoka, Minnesota, and Barry Sievers of Belleville all died on the scene on November 1st on Range Trail in Verona. The Model S Tesla they were driving left the road and struck a tree and started on fire. The Dane County Medical Examiner's Office has also identified a man and a woman who died in a Windsor crash earlier this month. 23-year-old Oswald Foglia Opezla and 23-year-old uh, Mariana Rosendo Mazabal of Madison had died in that crash on Highway 51 near Thrasherman's Park on Sunday the 3rd. The Dane County Sheriff's Office says they were driving north when a 43-year-old man crashed into them. They then hit another vehicle in the opposite lane driven by a 67-year-old man. The crash is still under investigation. Right now, UW Health has a new tool to save lives. It's called Whole Blood. Normally, when a person has a traumatic injury, they're given an IV solution like saline to keep their blood pressure up. But MedFlight is using Whole Blood, which can help with oxygen levels and platelets that can promote clotting and stop bleeding sooner, where saline cannot. Whole Blood is not divided into individual components like plasma and can bring a person back from the shock of blood loss by replacing what the body needs. On MedFlight, we think this is a game changer for us. In the U.S., people that are critically injured nationally, one in five likely die within the first 24 hours of their injury. We're seeing that number get smaller in the U.S. as we're able to start resuscitating patients earlier in their injury phase. Dr. Newberry adds this new method of whole blood is not just the difference between life and death, but whether patients will make a meaningful recovery. A new report by the CDC sheds more light into the E. coli outbreak from the McDonald's Quarter Pounder. The CDC says at least 104 people got sick from the outbreak. Among them, 34 people ended up in the hospital. The CDC says slivered onions are the source of that outbreak. They ruled out the beef patties as the potential source. McDonald's pulled the Quarter Pounder from menus in several states. Those locations have since started serving them again. The Food and Drug Administration says there is currently not any ongoing concern with McDonald's food related to the outbreak. 
Despite higher inflation, Wisconsin pays some of the lowest amounts per week when it comes to grocery costs. In a report from Visual Capitalist, the typical Wisconsin household pays about $221 a week on their grocery bills. The national average is $270 per week, and the highest average is Hawaii at $334 a week. The report cites Midwestern states' ties to farming and food production for lower prices and Hawaii's isolation from the mainland, raising transportation costs. President-elect Donald Trump's pick of former uh, Florida Congressman Matt Gates to be his attorney for, or his nominee for attorney general is sending shockwaves through Washington. Gates, who resigned after his uh, announcement, has been investigated by both the Department of Justice and the House. House Republicans who gave President-elect Donald Trump a standing ovation Wednesday sound less enthused about his attorney general pick, former Florida Congressman Matt Gates. Well, I was taught if you'll have anything good to say, say very little. The president is smart enough and his team is smart enough to know that Mr. Gates will never get confirmed by the Senate whatsoever. Until recently, Gates was the subject of a Department of Justice sex trafficking investigation. The department he's now been tapped to lead. I won't be extorted by a former DOJ officials. DOJ declined to bring charges and closed the case in 2023, but a House ethics investigation continued. Multiple sources tell CBS News four women have alleged they were paid to go to parties attended by Gates that included sex and drugs. The committee has Venmo transactions that allegedly show Gates's payments for the women. Gates has denied all wrongdoing. Gates resigned Wednesday night after Trump said he planned to nominate him for attorney general, potentially putting a stop to the House ethics probe because the committee doesn't typically investigate members once they leave. Thursday, Democrat Dick Durbin, chair of the Senate Judiciary Committee, called for the House ethics panel to share its findings, while some Senate Republicans are backing Trump's choice. My presumption is to support all the president's nominees. Along with Gates, Trump announced Wednesday he wants Florida Senator Marco Rubio for Secretary of State and Democrat-turned-Republican Tulsi Gabbard as Director of National Intelligence. Nicole Skenga, CBS News, Capitol Hill. Now, Gabbard is likely to be grilled during her confirmation hearings over sympathetic views she has expressed in the past towards Russia and Syria. More news now. Satire news outlet The Onion has bought Alex Jones' media company at auction. The Onion won the bidding war for Infowars at a bankruptcy auction backed by the families of Sandy Hook Elementary School shooting victims, of which Jones owes more than $1 billion to in defamation judgments. Jones confirmed the sale and says he plans to file legal challenges to stop it. It's not clear what The Onion plans to do with the conspiracy theory platform. Still ahead for us on a Thursday afternoon, why inflation is on the rise despite a cut to interest rates, plus a massive recall of SUVs and pickup trucks for a transmission issue. Quartz takes a different approach to health insurance. We know every life well lived is a journey. And we're here to light the way at every step. That's why for 40 years, we've been alongside the doctors and hospitals who know what their communities need. Because they're a part of them. Because we're a part of them. There's a fire burning in all of us. Let's ignite it together. Quartz, find your spark. In the heart of Middleton, there's a place where Christmas comes alive year after year. A joyful place where you can experience the magic of the season and take it home with you. The Bruce Company is here to make your holidays unforgettable. Find fresh and forever trees and hand-picked ornaments and the perfect gifts for family and friends. The Bruce Company Garden Center, where the spirit of the season glows and happy memories are made. And the best memories begin at the Bruce Company. Tens of millions of roofs across America are failing wearing out decades early and leaking, oftentimes without you knowing about it, causing tremendous damage. Here's how you know you have a problem with your roof. Black streaking, your roof looks rough, or granules shedding off into your gutters or showing up in your driveway. Your roof is wearing out too fast and it's going to cost you a bundle. RoofMax makes your roof like new by strengthening and rejuvenating it. So
So give us a call, and we'll give you a free assessment to see if your roof qualifies. Score the lowest prices of the year right now at Brothers Main's Black Friday sale. You won't find lower prices anywhere, and enjoy our free delivery. Shop family-owned Brothers Main's low-price guarantee on brands like Whirlpool, Maytag, KitchenAid, and Amana. Feel like family. Brothers Main. There's nothing better than a great night's sleep on a Tempur-Pedic from Steinhoffels. Discover the advanced pressure-relieving power of a Tempur-Pedic, making aches and pains a thing of the past. Right now, save up to $300 on mattresses and up to $200 when you upgrade to an adjustable base. Plus, get $300 in Steinhoffels cash. Queen Tempur-Pedic mattresses start at just $48 per month when you use Steinhoffels 60-month financing. Shop in-store or online at steinhoffels.com. Dashing has been very helpful for me. It definitely brought me a significant amount of extra income and allowed me to comfortably pay my bills and live a lifestyle and get out and have some fun. Portable benefits will be great. It'll allow me to afford health care, dental insurance, and vision insurance. That's great because, as you can see, I wear glasses. I, I will need to get uh, more eye exams because I'm getting up there in age. I love the freedom and flexibility of dashing, and portable benefits will give me an additional peace of mind. The latest Consumer Price Index report shows that inflation rose 2.6 percent last month, a slight increase from September. It comes even as the Federal Reserve has begun cutting interest rates and grocery store prices are beginning to cool. The report shows the uptick was driven in part by higher housing and transportation costs. General Motors is recalling nearly 462,000 diesel engine SUVs and pickup trucks over a transmission issue. The carmaker says a faulty transmission control valve could fail and cause the rear wheels to lock up, which could cause a crash. Owners of the impacted 2020 to 2022 models will be sent notification letters to take their vehicles to a dealership for a free repair. And the wait is over. It's Red Cup Day at Starbucks. Customers who order any sized holiday drink today can get a free grande-sized red reusable cup while supplies last. Customers who then bring their clean reusable cup in for a beverage can get a 10 cent discount on their drinks, plus rewards members can earn 25 points. The coffee chain has pledged to reduce waste 50% by 2030. That's your CBS News Money Watch report. For more, log on to cbsmoneywatch.com. At the CBS Broadcast Center, I'm Chanel Call. At the noon hour, here's your stock report. The Dow is down 114 points, NASDAQ down 60 points, and the S&P 500 down 29. We are keeping an eye on today's egg prices straight ahead, and Kelly is tracking the first Warren forecast. Then later on Live at 4, Dr. Zorba Pastor with new research that shows reducing sugar while pregnant may cut a child's risk of diabetes. The Hot Tub Swim Spa Expo is at Buckman's Pool Spas and Saunas this weekend only. Hundreds of hot tubs from major brands, all discounted. Hot tubs as low as $79 a month. Hot Tub Swim Spas and Saunas up to 40% off. Come save thousands this weekend at Buckman Pool Spas and Saunas. At Capri Communities, we're breaking the mold, embracing fun, and loving life every step of the way. All right, time to show these kids how it's done. Yeah. I'm coming for you, Dave. Bring it on, Harriet. Adventure is ageless. Yeah. Come live it up with us at Capri Communities. Nobody wants to think about cold weather, but now's the time to winterproof your home. Is your house cold every winter? Your home needs foam. Are your heating costs too high? Your home needs foam. Do you have different temperatures in different rooms? Your home needs foam. USA Premium Foam is over 35% more efficient than ordinary, weaker insulation. Winterproof now and get 0% financing for 72 months. USA Insulation.
Are you struggling with back or neck pain due to herniated or bulging discs? Midwest Spine and Nerve Center may be able to help you get back to your active lifestyle with our non-invasive drug-free treatment methods, including non-surgical spinal decompression, class 4 laser, and more. Serving Madison for over 15 years, we've helped hundreds of patients alleviate their back or neck pain. If you're looking for an alternative back or neck pain relieving therapy, call us to schedule a complimentary no-obligation consultation today to see if we can help you get out of pain. The Hot Tubs Wins Ball Expo is at Bachman's Pool Spas and Saunas this weekend only. Hot Tubs from major brands, all discounted. Swim Spas up to $20,000 off. Hot Tubs Swim Spas and Saunas up to 40% off. Come save thousands this weekend at Bachman's Pool Spas and Saunas. A new era begins. And I'm just getting started. Bigger cases. She was lured to your apartment. Higher stakes never seen before in daytime. In front of millions of people. Judy Justice. Weekdays at 3. Why was a transgender man serving time in the Dane County Jail sent to solitary confinement? They didn't know what to do with me. I'm looking into how inmates are classified for placement within the jail's limited space, especially those who are transgender. Tonight at 6. The Farm Report is sponsored by Blaine's Farm and Fleet. Pam Yonke from the Midwest Farm Report is at an egg broadcaster's convention. She'll return next week. So here are your farm numbers. For your certified most accurate forecast, first for meteorologist Kelly Slifka out on the weather patio. Hi, Kelly. Yeah, good afternoon, Josh. After the rain yesterday, it's still kind of damp out here. We still have a lot of humidity, so really not able to uh, dry this out yet. Uh, we will get into some lower humidity later tonight and tomorrow, and that should bring us some sunshine. But in the meantime, fairly cloudy. The rainfall that we got, really you can see some of these blue, these brighter blue areas down there in Grant County, Iowa, parts of Green County picking up over an inch of rain around the Madison area about a quarter to a third maybe some isolated spots picking up closer to a half of an inch of rain. Well here's the latest that came out this morning the drought monitor we still have severe drought it would have been nice to get more of that rain down there toward Janesville and parts of Lafayette County uh, but unfortunately or I should say Walworth County uh, but in general most of the rain fell over there in parts of uh, Grant County and Iowa County still have normally dry conditions that we have here in Madison hard to believe with all the rain we've had over the last week or so. Here's the storm system right now sitting over Chicago on the back side of it. We do have a northwest wind, but still clouds kind of just stuck here. I don't think we'll see any sun today, but as we get uh, more of a northwest wind, we should eventually get back into some sunshine tomorrow. And it should be dry now right through Saturday. And I think most of Sunday will be dry as well. Really nice weather for the most part for this time of November. Mid to upper 50s expected this weekend. Enjoy it because next week is not looking nice. Not only is it going to be wet, but it's going to be a cold wet. And also it might be cold enough that we could see a little bit of sloppy snow accumulation the first of the season later next week. All right, this was a photo sent in from Tammy as she was uh, down there toward Mickey's Bar there on Monroe Street. Uh, looking at uh, some, some of the clouds that are departing as the rain was departing earlier this morning. Still the low hanging clouds that we have over Madison, expecting highs up close to 51. That's way above our average, which is now 46, even though we are stuck in the clouds. And these clouds will be persistent. Temperatures near 50 today. Probably not seeing the uh, clouds really breaking up until later tonight, but noticing temperatures held into the mid 40s through the evening hours. So we're not really going to drop real quickly because of the cloud cover. But eventually that wind out of the west and northwest should bring us some drier conditions. So later tomorrow morning into the afternoon should get into some sunshine and warmer weather as a result. Now dry through the weekend generally, maybe an isolated shower on Sunday, but clouds will start to increase Monday dry until we get into Monday night. This is the system that's coming in and it's just going to be stuck right over the middle of the country. You see that area of spin up right over there in Minnesota and Iowa. So bring us some showers. It's not going to rain the entire period, 
but we'll see on and off rain. A lot of clouds expected next week. Thursday, we've got another surge coming in from the south. May get enough cold air wrapping. You see that pink shade, and that would indicate a mix of some rain and snow Thursday off to the west, but eventually that shifts a little bit closer to Madison, so it could see some slushy accumulations, at least in parts of southern Wisconsin, later next week. And if we don't see it then, then we got the colder air coming in next Saturday. So, yeah, several days, basically almost all week next week, even into next weekend, where we'll see some sloppy conditions. 47 right now in Madison, 48 in Janesville. The Dell's at 45 in uh, Wanakee, up to 50. Same goes for, for Sun Prairie and Cottage Grove. 51 today with cloudy skies. Should get into some sunshine mainly tomorrow afternoon. Really nice weather this weekend. Maybe a spotty shower here and there on Sunday. But there's that sloppy conditions coming in next week. Temperatures in the 40s. That's that cold rain, sometimes maybe mixed with a little bit of snow. Then we really start to see cooler weather by Friday and next weekend. Some of that rain may mix with and change over to some snow uh, later next week. I'm just trying to, like, cover the back half of that 10 days. Yeah, just, just <laughs> think um, good thoughts about this weekend. So. We'll enjoy this weekend, Kelly. All right, thank you. Yep. Well, today Howard's working on a variation of a one-pot meal in the Mr. Food Test Kitchen. For years, one-pot meals have been super popular since they allow us to throw everything in one pot while they do their thing. That means less cleanup and less hassles. But now there's a new trend that's sweeping the country. It's called sheet pan suppers. The principle is basically the same, but since everything gets cooked on a sheet pan, it cooks faster. Let me show you what I mean. We start by combining some olive oil with a packet of Italian dressing mix and a touch of pepper. Once that's mixed, we add in some creamer potatoes that we've cut in half, along with a chunked up onion and some fresh green beans that we've trimmed. And we dump that on a sheet pan. After baking it for about 15 minutes, we take it out and place a pound or so of Italian sausage that we've cut into chunks onto the same pan and back into the oven it goes. When everything is cooked through and all the flavors mesh together, it's done. Come dinner time, all we have to do is set the pan on the table and let everyone dig in. And since it has our meat, veggie, and potato all on one pan, just think how easy cleanup will be. To get the recipe, all you have to do is go to our website and type in sausage sheet pan supper. I'm Howard in the Mr. Food Test Kitchen, where today we found a trendy new way for you to say, ooh, it's so good. When we come back at noon, we'll introduce you to our pet of the week from the Dane County Humane Society. News 3 Now First Warm Weather is brought to you by Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Discover a shopping and design experience as comfortable as the furniture. Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Schedule your free design consultation today. You can hear that chain going around, bringing the door up, the springs, the thermal movement, the shaft. Hey Madison, your garage door isn't supposed to be loud. Here at Precision, we can make it a whole lot quieter. Precision Door Service, a name you can trust. Say big on your next bathroom project at Menards. Max has a great selection of showers, tubs, and surrounds. Right now, all Max freestanding tubs are on sale. Get the Saks freestanding tub for $6.99.98 after rebate. Check out our selection of Dakota vanities. They feature generous interior storage in a variety of styles and finishes to choose from. Like this Monroe bathroom vanity for $97.89 after rebate. Save big money at Menards. At Rank Seed, we expect excellence in every seed, superior genetics, state-of-the-art processing facilities, and extensive testing for proper placement. Let us help you find the right seed for your growing conditions. Rank Seed. Results since 1846. Get cozy in Door County with a stay at Open Hearth Lodge. Find relaxation in our King Whirlpool rooms, or enjoy time with your family in one of our dog-friendly suites. At Open Hearth Lodge, stay active with our exercise facility and start your day with a continental breakfast. Enjoy our indoor pool and hot tub and share stories around one of our outdoor fire pits. Open Hearth Lodge, a Door County getaway with all the comforts of home. This is a cup of coffee. It's to go. Because here, you're on the move. Our team coordinates all your appointments, so you see all the experts you need quicker. Because when you're facing a complex condition, it feels like time is being taken from you. 
So, we found a way to give it back. Welcome to East Park Medical Center. UW Health. Remarkable. With Chevy trucks, be ready for adventure. With power you can count on. Capability that doesn't compromise. A hard-working EV with more range than any competitor. And the potential to take you anywhere. Qualified lessees can get this 2024 Silverado for around $449 a month. See your Badgerland Chevy dealer today. Welcome back. Time for Potentially Yours on a Thursday afternoon. Lisa Bernard from the Dane County Maine Society is here with our pet of the week who's already looking deep into my soul, Lisa. <laughs> he, he's just like making that eye contact Oh my gosh. He's like, love me. You brought love him in me. and he hasn't left my side the whole time. I know. He's such a great snuggler. This is Tag and he is looking for a best friend. Oh my gosh. He's so sweet. He's only been with us for... A few days because we transferred him from Texas okay and everyone who's met him is gushing and they're like have you met tag and I'm like oh, I should go meet tag I guess he's like so. a little fluff or a big fluff ball honestly a big fluff ball with a big heart who just loves to snuggle loves to receive pets even with other dogs playing in the yard he like comes over by you and he's like I'm just gonna watch them and hang out by you he's a leaner so uh, you do have to kind of watch it if he suddenly <laughs> leans into you, but I do enjoy that he does not jump on me. So that's um, a nice perk because a lot of dogs you have to be careful with, especially of this size. Of this size, yes. Yeah. So he and we were out in the yard and it's a little muddy out there. So I'm like, thanks for keeping your paws <laughs> on the ground. So. Any idea on an age? Uh, so they think he's around two years. Okay. So uh, he's very chill, mellow. Uh, he's a, he was a little nervous in the car, but after driving up from Texas, that's understandable. It's he's, a lot of unknowns, right? It is. It is. So um, he's just looking for someone who's going to continue to provide him with encouragement and give him a lot of courage and support. I like just so. the chillness, right? Because yeah. like some dogs, especially even if they're two, that's still that puppy stage and they sometimes have a lot of energy. Yes, yes. And like he'll come over and put his head on your lap and just be like, hi. That's what, yeah, this whole time. <laughs> yeah, and it's just so sweet. He's, everyone just adores him. He's such a snuggler. He's so mellow. He pulls a little bit on leash, but you know, that's okay. He's that's most curious. dogs too. Yeah. And you can so. work on that. Oh, for sure. Uh, but he listens really well, so. Good. Well, yeah. I think we're going to find him a home. Look at how cuddly he is. Yeah. Already looking deep into my soul. Sorry, buddy. I got one at home already. <laughs> <laughs> Lisa, thank you so much. As always, appreciate it. You can help Madison firefighters come to the rescue of animals at DCHS by picking up the 2025 Best of uh, Madison Firefighters charity calendar. You can pick up the 25 calendar to see which photos of the Madison firefighters posing with local animals were selected for each month. Calendars can be purchased at both DCHS thrift store locations, their adoption center, and any Madison area mounds pet food warehouse or online. You can also uh, find those proceeds benefiting Dane County Humane Society. And last week's pet, Bilpo the Puppy, still available for adoptions. We have Bilpo and we have Tag that are available right now. If you're interested in adopting or checking out some of the other animals at Dane County Humane Society, just go to giveshelter.org. Here's Kelly with a final check of your first worn weather. Hey, Kelly. Yeah, good afternoon, Josh. We're uh, done with the rain, but we're not done with the clouds. It looks like these clouds are going to be hanging around at least through the afternoon into uh, most of tonight, but I think by tomorrow we should get back into some sunshine. But you can see on our visible satellite, we are seeing quite a few clouds across the area, and we're not seeing much clearing. We get to the maps there, looking at the uh, cloudy skies con continuing across much of the Badger State. Occasionally, they've been trying to thin out in northwestern areas of the state, kind of filling in fairly quickly. All right, our first warm forecast, we should get back into some sunshine tomorrow, and as a result, 55, our average highs in the mid-40s, we're so almost running 10 degrees above average. That will continue through the weekend with some sunshine, maybe a spotty shower on Sunday, and then things go downhill most of next week, even into next weekend, a very slow-moving slow storm system, rain, a cold rain at that, some of that mixing with some snow late in the week. All right, Kelly, thank you, and thanks for joining us today at noon. Have a great afternoon.